Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a podcast. Dr. Andrew Huberman is very well known. He's a Stanford professor. You've probably seen him all over the internet. He talks a lot about cold plunges. He's been on Rogan a bunch as well as a lot of other people's podcasts. He just talks about like human optimization, morning routines and stuff like that. He is having a conversation with Jeff Cavalier, who Jeff Cavalier is a physical therapist who owns Athlean X, which is a very large and awesome fitness YouTube channel. So this is a really cool conversation. They're talking about jump rope. That's why I'm reacting to it. What you're about to see is me reacting to their conversation. And this is like the first kind of video that we've made, you know, like a reaction video in this way and in the proper way. So really curious to see what you guys think. I personally love this format. I think it helps me just like voice a lot of things that, you know, about fitness and health that you guys don't always get to see when I'm just like giving you a workout or something like that. So please comment below. Let us know what you think about these. If you'd like to, you know, have us do more of these. And yeah, this video is sponsored by Crossrope. If you're new to jump rope dudes or just what we do and you need a jump rope, the best one for fitness and weight loss is linked up below. Um, enter code do the thing to get 15% off. But without further ado, let's get into the discussion. It's true. It's, it's a remarkable thing. I'm glad you mentioned jump roping. I uh, used to skip rope for warm up for boxing, you know, and yeah, those typical, like three, three, three minute rounds or something like that. Um, but I, I'm glad you brought it up because um, skipping rope is something that uh, obviously has a cardiovascular component. There's the conditioning component, there's timing, and, and it is kind of interesting, right? You can, yeah. it's a I agree. It is pretty interesting. I actually didn't know that Dr. Huberman um, even boxed, let alone jumped ropes. Frustrating when you don't get it, yeah. especially when it whips you on the yeah. air. If you, it's very frustrating when you don't get jump rope. I can relate to that. So can all of you. I know that using a proper yeah. rope. Um, I'm just curious if you could just give us a quick um, skipping rope one on one. Do you like to see people jumping with um, both feet and toes? We'll we'll link to a video if I'm sure if there was one and I missed it. Do you like to see people doing high knees? Do you like people basically like shuffling? Uh, you want to see people doing double dutch. What do you want to see people uh, doing over time? All of the above, maybe not the double dutch. Yeah, every, I was gonna, I was gonna hop in and say everything. You know, any kind of jump rope, in my opinion, is good. Some people do it for fitness. Some people do double dutch. Some people do it for tricks. Some people do it as a sport. Some people do it for CrossFit. I think, uh, however you are using a jump rope is is really what we try to promote here at Jump Rope Dudes. But all, all of the above, I mean, I although we are fitness and weight loss heavy, that is our specific thing that we talk about with jump rope. But any form of jumping rope is is awesome. And I encourage everyone to try it. I think that that's the cool thing about it, right? Like once we sort of master the skill, because for all of us, that first jump with the two feet going together is a challenge because you just got to time that rope. And you got to time your jump. And then we get bored, as we often do as humans. We get bored with what we can do and want to take on new challenges. So then it becomes one leg at a time or. He's Jeff Cavalier of Athlean X is basically describing the exact progression that most people go through with jump rope. And a big reason why I think jumping rope is so addicting. It's like you start off with basic bounce and then there's just like an endless amount of tricks and combos and variations, speeds, weights of ropes. Like there's a never ending progression and ability to challenge yourself with jump rope. So it's cool to see a guy like Jeff who doesn't really talk about jump rope at all on his channel uh bring that up because yeah just to see other fitness people in the in the space talking about it and having that same realization or then it becomes side to side hops right and all of those things are beneficial I, I believe neurologically to enhancing the ability to do the skill as a whole but also just because i'm i'm such a believer in training in all three planes so like just doing straight up and down versus now I can do frontal plane side to side motion. And then I can even do small little twists or corkscrews, we call them. Um, it requires a different, you would know more about it better than I do. It requires different neurological patterns to be able to coordinate that because you're. He's absolutely right. This is, <clears throat> this is the main reason why I think jumping rope is like a no brainer for not only losing weight and getting fit, but for any sport that you are training for, like, being able to move laterally, up and down, diagonally, like making these quick shifts in your movements. A lot of sports require that. Let's say you're a downhill skier. You got to go lateral super fast. Let's say you're an NFL wide receiver. You also have to go lateral super fast. Like jumping rope is just an overall great training tool for any sport. And I think that's uh, it's cool to see these guys talk about it. 
you're changing the orientation of your body in space. So it's not just that I'm changing the exercise, but I'm changing how my body interprets that exercise because of what's happening to my body in space. So I, I love, you know, whatever people wind up doing, but I'm, I am amazed. There are people, I just started following this young woman on Instagram who is like, uh, I'll give her a plug. I think it's like Anna skips or something. And she is not going to lie. I already saw this snippet of the video. And when he said Anna skips, I was like, <laughs> I think you mean Lauren jumps, but then I actually did look up. There is an Anna skips Anna. I didn't, I didn't know we didn't follow each other. So I just followed you. Um, shout out Lauren jumps as well. But, uh, yeah, that's really cool. You know, just to see jump rope being put on the map like that is ridiculous. Like I, I watch her like mesmerized at what she can do with the rope. You know, it's, it's like, is an extremely athletic endeavor when it gets to be at that level in the speed and the precision in the, you know, and, and, you know, I think one of the goals that you want to be able to have is to where you're feeling as if you're almost effortlessly dancing without a rope. Guys, I can't <laughs> like he's saying everything that I think all of us as jump ropers feel like that's what it is. I talk about this in, the, in a lot of recent videos, like jump rope is an art. It's a flow. It's not just being so rigid and jumping over a rope and then doing it again, you know, like you develop this kind of rhythm and it really is a dance. Like also shout out Jimmy, Jimmy's relax. Um, if you guys are on Instagram, you probably know Jimmy. Um, he has in his bio dance roper and I'm like, yeah, I mean, dude, you're basically gliding around doing all these different moves. And uh, again, just cool to see people who don't like I don't normally think of jump rope um, in the fitness industry talking about this. Like where you're just bouncing off of the ball of your foot. Um, and it's an important skill to learn, too, whether you go back to run or, or you know, or even even jog. Right. Just like, you know, more casual running. Learning how to land is so important. One of the drills that people should try is like try to jump on your heels so just stand up pull your toes off the ground right and just jump from your all right i don't know what he's gonna say after this but i am be honest i don't think you guys should be jumping on your heels jeff might have some other reason that is like might justify because i haven't listened to the whole thing yet um don't jump on your heels jump on your toes let's see what he has to say your heels and land on your heels you'll feel it in your jaw You'll literally feel your jaw rattle when you land on your heels. There is no shock absorption capabilities through your heels. Meantime, a lot of people land on their heels a lot when they when they run. And you're just your body's not built to absorb the forces like the ball of your foot could. All right. So <laughs> I jumped the gun. He's basically saying, yeah, he's saying don't jump on your heels. Jump on your heels to feel that there is no shock absorption. But huh, I was starting to hate on what he was saying. And then yeah, he came through and said, you know, he I, he's what he's saying is right. Jump on the balls of your feet. That is correct jump rope form, not slamming your heels into the ground because that's how you're going to get injured. But it's really built as a spring. And the, and the foot is, a to me, as a physical therapist, the foot has always been one of the most amazing. You know, you talk about having bad feet. I have flat feet. It looks like I got I flippers if I, took my, if I took my shoes off. Like, the, I, like I'm wearing scuba fins. There is no... There is no adaptability of that foot to the surface. You know, when you, when it's completely caved and flattened like that, the job of this of the foot is to be a, adaptable. Well, there is maybe there is some adaptability because it's so floppy, but at the same time, at some point, that critical juncture when you're going to then step through and you need to be able to push off, the foot has to actually changes in the midfoot itself to become a rigid lever, as they call it. You're you're going from a mobile adapter to a rigid lever. Just a pause. I didn't know that Jeff was uh, a um, physical therapist. I just thought he ran a fitness gym. I mean, his physique is like literally perfect. So I thought his whole thing was like lifting weights and stuff. I did not did not know that. For that rigid lever literally locks up the mid-tarsal joint to become solid so that you can push off of it with leverage. If you lack that capability, all those stresses that are supposed to be borne by the foot go up into the ankle, into the knee, into the hip, into the low back. So learning how to land and, and start to train your, your body to, a, to uh, experience ground reaction forces the right way is so critical to all other function and all their disability up the kinetic chain. And jumping rope is like one of the best ways to learn how to do that. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, Dr. Huberman didn't really speak a whole lot in this video, actually. I thought he was going to talk a lot more about it. But, I mean, clearly he, you know, jumps rope and experience, has experienced the benefits. But, man, Jeff Cavalier is exactly on point. Like, what he just said, he basically just said, like, jumping rope is one of the best ways to just train your body for the impact of being alive. Like, when we're out here, whether you're walking, hiking, playing a playing a sport, running after something and the like whatever you're doing running up the stairs um mo like moving furniture um he's he's kind of saying like you know your body needs to be ready for all that and the way that jump rope trains your body to absorb the shock of just daily activities is really one of the most powerful things i think about jumping rope it's not just this like it's it's not just a it's not just a skipping tool. This like this is why we talk about jump rope should not just be looked at as a warm up and I think that's why you're seeing so many people start to jump rope and become involved with it. Um you know, people who are in their 80s and just want to get back to being, you know, feeling fit and then professional athletes, fighters, football players, soccer players, you know, all kinds of people are getting into jumping rope just because it's one of the best tools to just train your body for any anything, being ready for anything. So this is awesome. I'm pumped on, uh, you know, maybe maybe one day. It would be really cool to interview Jeff by himself or Dr. Huberman by himself. So if you guys could blow up the comments, then maybe we'd get him on here. Interesting. An ad. Okay. Well, I think that's it for the video. But um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Also, comment below if you want – to have more reaction videos from me. I really enjoy doing this just because it helps me give my opinion or just some thoughts on things that you, that a lot of you guys see on the internet in terms of fitness and health. And just to be straight up, I think there's a lot of bullshit out there. And you know, if I can help in any way by just kind of giving my two cents on the topic, then I would enjoy doing so. So thank you guys for tuning in today and uh, we'll see you on the next video.